So here I am in Skyrim Special Edition on a PS4, and I am at a, well, I'm right outside of Solitude, but what I'm here for is to give a tour of the Cillian Manor. This is a player uh, uh, designed a home, which I'm using mostly because it has a shitload of mannequins. Um, as you can see, I'm at the crossroads right above the uh, farm. Katya's farm? Is that what that is? Do, 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 do. Yes. Catless farm. Excuse me. And if you run up here a little bit, um, you'll notice that I have lamp posts of Skyrim installed, and here is our manor. Uh, you might see Sere Ser Serana, Serena around. I'm in the process of doing the Dawn Guard. Um, one of the downsides of this is, I don't know if this is just me, or if it's just my PS4, or if this is the way it's designed, but there are some clipping issues. The, uh, there's a, a hatch here that goes into the basement, and you can see that it doesn't work all that well. However, uh, that doesn't affect the playability of the manor at all, it's just one of those things. Uh, there are some plenty of mountains, there she is. Plenty of mountain uh, flowers out here. I always pick the red ones, but there are some red ones around. There's also a garden here, which is tough to see because of the clipping issues, but there are 10 slots here. Some of them are hard, harder to use than others because of the clipping issues. It's more useful to, to plant tall things in it, like the wheat. I have l short things like jazz bay and imp stools, so I have a tough time. Okay, so um, there is a chest here at the uh, at the outside, and you can see I have a ton of stuff in here. This is a cloud chest, which means you can access it from more than one place. And this manor has two of those. So, front door. I've done some decorating, but you should be able to get a pretty good view of what it's like, even without the de decorations, because I haven't done anything terribly complex. That was a really long load. There's a seat here. I put some eyes of Falmer and some control cubes from one of the Dwemer ruins there. If you go to the left here, there is a bathroom with some cupboards and a hot tub. Somewhere, I thought there was working water, but that may have been a different... Uh, This goes to a little uh, patio, which I'll show in a bit. Then in here, there is a bedroom for kids or followers or whatever. It's not terribly interesting. Some places to display daggers. Dagger display here, which I put thorax, uh, torch bug thorax instead. This is the stone from the very beginning, which has all the locations on it. Uh, dining room table, not much of use here. None of this stuff is actually usable, but it's kind of cool looking. Wait, can I take that? No, I can take the wine. Eh, I don't drink in this good game, so... Okay, so here's a kitchen with all the hearth fire add-ins. I'm not terribly thrilled about the East Empire Company stuff. I always think about the East India Company. If you know your history, you know that's what Britain used to take over the world for a while. There's an oven, there's a cooking pot, there's some uh, themed storage, so there's some raw meats in here, place to put your fruits, your veggies, your mis a whole bunch of salt, mist cooking supplies, if you want to put your meads in here have a few in there. I went through the Haunting Brew mead <laughs> place and stole everything. If you have wines, you can stick them in there. I only have some Ember Brine wine from Solstheim. Let's see, is this the water that works? No, I must be remembering something else. <laughs> Clothes irons. So, then there's a library over here with a fair amount of space for books. Six, seven full bookcases. And then upstairs, there's an upstairs and a downstairs here.
there is an area here that has all of the standing stones and all of the shrines and a chest. This is not a cloud chest. I pretty much only use the Shrine of Kalos. Uh, another dagger place to store. Another room if you have, you know, eight or ten children. <laughs> and there's even more after that. So here's the master bedroom here. There is a little uh, deck out there. Some storage here. This is my nightingale stuff, but I can't access that bow. It does have some of the bugs that the various weapons racks and mannequins have. That, I believe, is children. Um, theme storage for notes, for journals, for spell tomes, and for books. Standard wardrobes, standard bed, standard chest, amulets. One of the things I don't like about theme storage is that I don't have all the amulets listed on that actually display there. Like I don't have all the Galder bits. I only have one so far and yet it shows all of them. That's only a minor thing. Uh, two safes and then the piece de resistance, the hidden room back here. And I mentioned the themed storage, like here. It shows all the five paragons, and yet there aren't any paragons stored in here. And it shows all of the dragon claws, and yet I only have about half of them. I wish it would only show the ones that you actually had. However, I've never made a player home, and so I don't know how that works, if you could actually do that, or if you'd end up with just an ugly uh, mess. Um, this particular mannequin has the bug of you can't take things off of it. There is actually a way around that. I'll put a link in the description if I remember. Um, and then Daedric artifacts. I don't have all of these. For instance, you can't have both of those. You can only have one of them. I happen to have the Black Star. I don't have that. I do have Dawnbreaker, but it's over there. Again, all the ma masks. I only have about half of them. Uh, and yet it shows that I have all of them. I do have, for whatever, oops, for whatever reason, I have Canaric, even though I don't have all the rest. I got that with a bug. It was really, really weird. I was just in some random uh, tower, and I got attacked by Canaric, so I took his mask. See, there's Dawnguard, or Dawnbreaker, or whatever that is. Shiny, but not very useful for the way I play. So, a fair number of uh, mannequins in here. So that's the upstairs. Um, and then there's this little deck out here, which I mentioned. Not much to see out here. There is a place to sit. My one beef about these is that if you actually sit in these chairs, you can't see much. This is the ugliest character I've ever played. I would like to have this nice view of so solitude and of of all of that area, but if you sit, you can't see any of it. So I wish the either the chairs were higher or the wall were lower. Anyway, back inside. Back inside. And we're gonna go downstairs. I just finished with the Forgotten Veil, which is why I have these veiled deer hides and the saber cat hides. I love them because they kind of glow. Okay, so now we're back on the main floor and now we're going into the really interesting area which is the basement. Three rooms down here. Uh, we'll get down to the really basement there in a second. So here is one of the first uh, rooms with even more mannequins and a ton of places to put stuff. Um, Tons of uh, mannequins, shield racks, and each mannequin has its own chest. I haven't even counted all of these. There are a ton of them. And again, all of the storage back here. So, that's the main uh, armor room. Then we have 
another place to put beds for kids and followers. I tend not to adopt kids, and I only have followers when I have them for quests like Serana there, so I don't actually use any of this stuff, but it's a good place to throw things for decoration. Full on uh, armor, I'm sorry, um, blacksmith's shop down here, you've got your smelter, you've got your blacksmith forge, some more themed storage here, all the ingots. I have a ton I need to drop off, so excuse me for a second. Various leathers, misc crafting supplies. This is right for things that I tend to. What's that doing? Oh, things that I tend to use for um, house building. Dragon bones and scales, and then ores. Again, excuse me while I drop off a bunch. I mentioned that there was cloud storage. This is the other half of that. You have a drop-off chest here, which I saw that you saw the glass armor and things. So this is the same one as outside the front door. This is the second one. This one actually goes into the sub-basement. I only have a few things in here. Then a workbench and tanning rack. The staff enchanter from uh, the Dragonborn uh, DLC. Arvark skull, that's just a decoration. We've got jewelry, scrolls, heart stones, soul gems, an enchanter, themed potions. So, whatever is, you know, I don't actually have whatever that is. That's what the prolonged invisibility. I don't have one of those in there. These are ones you can, uh, that respawn, you can take them. Ingredient theme storage. This is where I keep my uh, alchemy uh, um, gear. An imbuing chamber. Albino pot, uh, spider pods. I don't actually use those very often. Gems. You could probably sell some of those. Your bug jars. I only have two of them, and you can see it shows all five. That kind of annoys me, like I said, but what are you going to do? Oops. That is supposed to be up there. Um, these are all legit. Those are the resonance gems. Crossbows, arrows, crossbows, bows, battle axes, swords, staves. Daggers, maces, war axes, great swords, war hammers, random torch to keep things lit, shields, boots, armors, gauntlets, helmets, another random table. And then we go into the basement. Sub basement, perhaps. Um, I showed a hatch. On the outside, that's what that is. Who is so loud? Is that me or Serena? I should have on muffled boots, so I shouldn't be making this much noise, but what do you do? This is the other half of the cloud storage, which was above the workbench uh, in the first basement. Some more storage here. That's again the bug. I had that particular robe upstairs. And then another room full of storage. And another one over here. So you can say when I say that there is a shit ton of mannequins in this house, you can see what I meant. And that's it. That's the extent of this uh, place. If you go back up to here, yeah, you have a lot of the various decorations. And again, I mentioned the hatch. Let's go out there and we will finish the tour. So, there's the hatch we came out of. And that's the tour. I'm not particularly fond of this uh, architecture, and this isn't my favorite of 
the player uh, uh, available uh, houses, the ones that, that players made, but it does have a ton of mannequins, and that's why I chose it. This has been a Locked On Plays, and I hope you found this useful, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.